Hello everyone. Welcome to Smart Educational Solutions. In this series, we are going to talk about painkillers. So, first of all, we'll talk about one of the commonest painkillers. It is diclofenac. So, this diclofenac is available as tablet preparations or gel or cream and also as a suppository. Diclofenac is used mainly as a painkiller as we have already discussed. So it can be used when you have any muscle pain and sometimes instances like migraine it can be used. In addition if you have some kidney stones or stones in your waterway for example in the ureter then people use this painkiller. Diclofenac is available in 50 mg or 100 mg preparations. For pediatric age group, there are less dosed preparations. Maximum daily dose is 150 mg. That means basically uh, 50 mg, 3 tablets per day. There are numerous side effects of the diclofenac. One of the most common side effect is gastrointestinal disturbances. That means you might feel a bit of bloating, nausea or even vomiting after taking diclofenac. It can even lead to ulceration inside your stomach, which we call peptic ulcers. Furthermore, in some people do develop allergic reactions and also this can lead to situations like anaphylaxis. There are some contraindications. That means where you should avoid taking diclofenac. For example, if you are known allergic, if you have known allergy to diclofenac, then you should not take this medication. And also, if you have advanced kidney problem, then you should avoid taking diclofenac. The main reason for this is diclofenac is excreted from our body via kidney. There is some evidence that diclofenac increases the incidence of heart attack and also strokes. So if you are a known person with heart problem or if you have any history of stroke, it is better to avoid this drug and there are special preparations which you can use as a painkiller when you have these conditions. We will talk about this later on. There is a link between asthma and diclofenac. In some people, diclofenac is known to exacerbate asthma. But this can vary depending on person to person so you have to be very cautious if you are known asthmatic and using diclofenac. With regard to dengue fever, which is more common in tropical countries, uh, in some instances, people do present with body aches, fever, where some doctors prescribe diclofenac. But the thing is, diclofenac do increases the tendency to bleed. So if you are diagnosed with dengue fever at that time, there is a big chance that you might bleed. So it is always better to be cautious when you are going to use diclofenac while you are having fever. Hope you enjoyed our video. Subscribe for our channel for more videos. Thank you.